I think this is the first reindeer that I've seen ever. It's just you can see the entire city of Vancouver from here. Hey guys. hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog. Our Christmas vlogs continues. Today, we are visiting the peak of Christmas here in Vancouver. If you guys aren't from here, peak of Christmas is an annual event here in Vancouver. It's actually at the top of Vancouver because it's held at Grouse Mountain, which is considered as the highest peak here in Vancouver. We think it's going to be a little different from the previous years because of all the restrictions, but we still think it's going to be fun. Let's go have fun! We're a little late. It's already 2.20 right now. Our ticket is for 2 o'clock for the upload to the gondola. Let's see if they're still gonna let us in. Ready? Ready. I think this is the first time that we packed out our winter jackets. Yep. <laughs> it's winter time. It's about 8 to 14 degrees right now, but it's gonna be a lot colder up there. Some people might think we're crazy, but crazy is all we've known. It's probably that they just stay And there we go. That's Thank you so much. That's why they're going up in smoke. We're giving this all we've got. Hello? Thank you, thank you both deeply. We'd also like to draw your attention to the exclusion of liability which you received to be a passport just here today. This is about to go over our first tower, please. Where you can find our retail store outfitters. You can also find the house grind off guard LTG to East Coast. Go, go, go. Hey guys, we just wanted to quickly disclose something here. Although the gondola ride seems fun and exciting in the video, we felt a little uncomfortable with the spacing in the gondola. Not only the gondola ride itself, but the lineups were all too tight too. We just feel socially responsible with the videos that we make and wanted to give you guys a small disclaimer. If you guys are uncomfortable with big crowds like we were during that time, may as well stay home. Back to the video. We're here at the North Pole. We're stepping in snow again. <laughs> <laughs> Our first time stepping on the snow this year. Right by the chalet, after you get off the gondola, the first attraction you are going to see is this ice skating rink. It comes with your admission, so bring your skates, or you can rent one here. So it's unfortunate that we can't get very far from here, from the chalet, because we don't have snowshoes. The proper footwear. <laughs> the proper footwear, again. <laughs> Remember last time when we went to see the sky gondola, we were sliding and everything. So now we are right here. Because we didn't have the proper shoes. <laughs> I slipped and fell. <laughs> we never learned, do we? <laughs> I think we need to start in investing on shoes. Probably. <laughs> so usually you're gonna see Santa here for peak of Christmas here at the North Pole, but this year he's gonna skip it because of the pandemic. But you can still see his reindeers here, Dancer and Vixen. I see him! He's there! He's <laughs> dead! I think this is the first reindeer that I've seen ever. Where's Santa? Maybe he thought I'm Santa? <laughs> or Mrs. Claus? <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you think is Dancer and who is Vixen? I'm not sure. <laughs> do they have name tags? They kind of look smaller than what I thought. They look small? <laughs> well, you can't help but compare them after watching Christmas Chronicles in Netflix. What did he say? Oh, I heard it was Jingle Bells! Jingle Bells! I think you've watched too many Christmas movies this time. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends which time of the year you guys come. Because in the summer, you are gonna see bears here in that cage. And during winter, you're gonna see reindeers. 
After visiting the reindeers, we rushed to find a spot to watch the sunset. What are you doing there? <laughs> what I didn't know this was, this was needed. I was trying to set up the camera. <laughs> Deep that is. I think this is the farthest that we can go. Look at this view! The lens of our camera does not do justice on this one. Come maybe in the beginning of the day before sunrise and during sunset, and you are gold. It's just you can see the entire city of Vancouver from here. Right? Yep, you can see downtown Vancouver. And the pastel colors from the sun. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to the chalet now. <laughs> that lump of snow was kind of hollow, right? Yeah. Like every time I step on one, on one foot, I would kind of like consider if I'm going to go down or not. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Do you want to visit the light walk now? Okay, let's go. Okay. It's getting darker now. So as the sun sets here in Grouse Mountain, peak of Christmas, everything lights up because they have Christmas lights everywhere. So we're going to go to one of their more popular attractions here during the night. It's called the light walk. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light From now on Our troubles will be high Wow! Everything lights up here, eh? So nice! <laughs> you can't tell, we're smiling <laughs> So aside from that tunnel with lights, I think the light walk is pretty much a trail. Look at all this. Wow. Right? So nice. So one thing we would say is make sure you guys have clits or at least snowshoes when doing the light walk. It's kind of slippery, especially when the ice is kind of melted and then it's frozen. Ah, more lights over here. Well, I cracked open my door to catch a glimpse of Saint Nick. Could hardly see a thing. The smoke was so thick. The I would say we've been walking for the last 15 minutes now. Yep. <laughs> so it's quite a trail. The tough part here is trying to look up and see the lights, but at the same time, you're wanting to look down because you don't want to fall. <laughs> Watch out for your step. Oh, babe, there's a giant reindeer. It's changing. Ah, oh, it just changed colors too. Huh? Just nice looking at the lights here, the decorations. Nice chill walk during the night. Seen a reindeer that big before? <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing's for sure the reindeer we saw earlier wasn't that big. <laughs> After having a nice long walk, we made sure to stop by the chalet to grab their delicious hot chocolate. Ah, hot chocolate! I guess you can't come to these places without trying their hot chocolate. It's the night before the big day and I could barely sleep. House was so quiet I could hear my heartbeat. But then I heard a rumble. I wondered, oh, could this be? Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this vlog. We sure had a lot of fun visiting Grass Mountain again. So we did promise one small announcement to you guys. We are gonna be embarking to another week-long road trip like what we did with Vancouver Island. Yeah, about that. We really wanted to go and have that holiday road trip to Ban. But as we monitor the situations here in BC and in Alberta, the situation is not getting better. And not only that, the enhanced restrictions were extended on both provinces. 
So technically, even if we go, we'd be so restricted on the things that we can do. We've decided to hold off the trip for now and stay closer to home here in Vancouver. We're actually in a point where we have everything booked and now we have to start from scratch. But don't worry, for sure, we're going to find fun things to do here in Vancouver. Back to the video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! We tried renting some ice skates, but unfortunately, their sizes are very limited. They had a 12 for me, but for Max... They don't have a 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. <laughs> <laughs> You did not see anything! <laughs> <laughs>